The overhead. The overhead is a shot simply that you hit over your head. The overhead is an abbreviated serve. You're generally going to hit the overhead when you're up at the net. You're going to be in the ready position. You analyze to anticipate. You see your opponent's racket faces up. And you quickly step back. Obviously, it's been proven in research that a player goes forward first. But there's some things, obviously, that we don't teach. You're going to step back. You're going to set the racket in this position. As you step back, you're going to change your grip to a continental grip. This is the first movement. The left hand holds the racket. That allows me to have the right hand be very loose. It allows me time in the movement to change my grip. It keeps the racket at this angle, the most efficient angle. If I keep my left hand on longer in the beginning, I can keep my left hand up longer at the end. The left hand simply sets the racket, abbreviates the swing. And my elbow is going to be a little bit lower than my shoulder so I can be loose if my elbow is up too high. So now in this salute position, when my shoulder goes forward, that's the first movement. The opposite and equal reaction is the elbow goes back. So it's going to be like I'm in the salute position. Now I'm combing my hair. Now I come around to the side like I'm talking on the telephone. Now I go out and I give the ball the high five. Now I turn, check out my wrist, and I make this power X. The left arm goes up to keep my body up, to keep my body sideways, and then I decelerate the left side to accelerate the right. At the impact point, just like on the serve, I'm going to have a power line. My lower body, upper body, arm, and racket will be at a 45 degree angle in this position. So the overhead, you have to have an upward swing. To have an upward swing, you keep the racket face in a downward position. Of all the shots, you need to swing up the most on the overhead to counteract the angle of the ball falling from the position of the lob. So to demonstrate, the overhead looks like this. Footwork for the overhead, I'm much better off to turn and cross over. When I cross over, I can take half the steps to cover twice the distance. Plus, with a crossover step, I'm going to get more body rotation. You watch the top players, you'll see them in this position. They don't necessarily have their left hand on the racket, but that's, that's a great way to help a young player not do what most players do, is have a forehand grip and put the racket in the palm up pizza position where they pull down. So with the overhead, I step back, I cross over. I'm in this position. I've turned my back almost to the net. Left arm goes up, and I swing with a continental grip as a right-hander, left to right. I'm blind to my target, and I'm swinging away from my target in that position. So young players, they need a shadow swing in front of a mirror. Go slowly, go through the grip, the swing, and body position. And that's a review of the overhead.